So right now I'm headed back to Divinity Tattoo to get some more work done very soon by the lovely Misty Lockett. She did my recent wrist tats dedicated to my husband and my baby girl. If you haven't seen the video and you want to check it out, I'll be sure to link it somewhere in here or down there. Her work is totally awesome. She's so talented and she is going to give me my first leg piece. I don't know if you know this, but I have absolutely no work on the lower half of my body. I always joke with people that I'm top heavy when it comes to my tattoos although I do think I'm nicely endowed as well <laughs> but the furthest my tattoos go down is my lower back one my tramp stamp made in Korea and then everything else is on my arms obviously my chest back of my neck so today I'm just going because she wants to take photos of me she's going to do an original piece she said she wants to do a pretty lady and some other elements and she wants to use me as the inspiration for the pretty lady which now that I think about it is maybe a compliment either she thinks I'm a pretty lady or she's going to be able to draw one from my photo at least. <laughs> Back at Divinity Tattoo to get a tattoo. I haven't learned how to balance it yet really with that and like my finances and time and everything but it's like super beneficial. So it's the next morning Misty has me healing it using this Sanoderm stuff which she says if I do it right, we'll heal it in a week. As you can see, I've sprung a leak, so I need to clean it up right now. It's very sticky. So Misty told me this is something that hospitals use. The idea behind it is it's good for your body to heal itself with its own juices, which I know is gross to say, but you trap it in there and you don't let anything get to it, like outside bacteria or anything really. So I'm going to get this one off, clean it with some dial soap, let it air dry, ooh gross, for a half hour she said, and then rewrap it and leave it wrapped in this stuff for a week straight. And she said it'll build up more liquid and it might start to leak and I'll just patch it, like keep going further down and keeping all this stuff trapped in there and not letting anything get to it. I've never done this before. It'll be an interesting process, but healed in a week is great because she wants to start tattooing me in another week. It's been two days since we did the last session, which was this part up here. And this time it's leaking up instead of down my leg. And I can't really show you because it's leaked all into my butt area. So I just keep patching my right butt cheek. A lot of liquid is still trapped in the face area. So you can see it looks muddy in there and wet still. It's been six months, but in the video, it will have just been a jump cut. Finally going back to get the tattoo finished. You know, the holidays came and went, and then the last couple months, my family's been sick. Quinn and Olive have both been sick twice. They kept passing something back and forth to each other, and then finally I got sick, and turns out, because I rarely ever get sick, I know people say that, but it's true, I'm a big baby about it. I did a lot of complaining, so kudos to those of you who are sick often my sympathies you are stronger than you get credit for because it sucks it really messed with me but we're all better now and misty and i finally got synced up we're gonna get it done also just a little side note i'm filming on a new camera today this is the first time i'm trying it out what's funny about this particular video is i think i've used three different cameras for it it started with my very old nikon which finally kicked the bucket after many good years and then i was using my iphone and then i just got this one like like two days ago it's a sony rx100 something 4k cybershot something it's actually a hand-me-down from quinn's work they weren't using it anymore and they gave me a really good deal on it and i am very happy <laughs> Sony, 
It's been a few weeks and I wanted to show you how it's looking now that it's pretty much healed. I didn't use the Saniderm stuff this time around. I did the more traditional healing, saran wrap, cleaning it with unscented soap, aquaphor, unscented lotion. Apparently that special wrap isn't good to use over and over. Your skin needs time in between to rebuild up some of its goodness. Can't think of the word. Funkiness is what I want to say, but that sounds gross. Anyways, here's a close-up. I'm, of course, extremely happy with it. I mean, it's just stunning. Easily the prettiest piece I have. And we are talking about next projects, possibly adding Olive's portrait to my leg and fixing my chest. But it is finally time to wrap up this vlog. Thanks for coming along. You know, check out my Instagram for daily stories and just more of me in general. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.